Hi there, it's Hugh here. Uh, this, today we're going to uh, draw a tree and I'll show you the basic structure of, of it. Um, this is one of my trees that I did uh, in art lesson. Uh, if you notice, the main branches they start off going out, well, almost straight. And then they're not right next to each other. They're one after another. And then the second set start getting a bit steeper and steeper until they're almost straight up uh, so I'll just do a uh, quick uh, diagram of one down here so you start off with your trunk and then start going out like that go up and it starts getting a bit steeper, maybe not that steep and then sometimes it could just fork like this getting quite steep now that's just what it should look like in small scale and then you just start adding all the branches and everything and shade it in anyway Let's get to um, drawing uh, a proper tree like this. So the grade of pencils you need is uh, is a, a 4B, 6B, a, a B pencil and a HB. So that's all the only four pencils that you need and let's get started just started off the main shape so you can see we've got the trunk and you've got I just put a few lines to mark where the um, sort of main branches will come out from so let's carry on I think if we go up as it'll be quite a tall tree we'll make it fork at the top making one side small and the other side bigger and then having another fork like that so that's the um, basics of the tree done now we need to add to the uh, main like sort of branches Make sure that it's not completely straight, as it uh, lines and straightness aren't really um, natural uh, natural things. So, so adding to it. So we now have the branches, really, well the main sort of trunk. So. I start from the bottom work up to the top. Some of you may start from the top and work down from the bottom, but it's just what I do. And um, start by bringing a small branch down and bringing that up, a small branch up. So we have like a fork there. Then you sort of want to make little wisps and that's one part so make small little whisks and whips making sure that none of it is completely straight sometimes make them going up so like that turn that round that's almost finished just need to balance it out a bit more by um, sometimes they sort of change and they sort of twist round and go up and on coming out there then make small ones coming out at the very tops so that's just one of the parts done and 
you need to do the next part so I'll come back after I've done uh, the left hand side now that we have the bottom two of uh, the um, branches we'll move up to the next section so for me as I'm right handed I'll start from the right again and by the way this is a, a 4B pencil that I'm using I usually have a 2B but I couldn't find one so but 4B works just as well so sort of working upwards so bring the branch up and one going along and make this fork at the top having that thick one coming up there and don't be scared if you make a mistake because you've always got rubber As you can see here, I've got a few overlapping, but it's completely natural. I haven't done any down here, but I um, like doing it in the higher stages. As all the branches are fighting for the, for the light, for the leaves and everything. So, it's almost completed. It just has small bits there. So that's another one and we need to, we'll do the left one but we have it, you can see it's sort of working in the woods and then um, the top part should be a bit um, thicker than uh, the length of these two and uh, I'll um, come back when I've done uh, this part here. So on the left hand side that's just a sort of layout of the branches that uh, we'll be filling in later and that's the right hand side which uh, this should um, sort of look like a bit later but um, with uh, every sort of stage, stage meaning like that, stage one, two, three, four or three, you can even have five, um, you want to try and make it so they're all curved. So it curves round into sort of natural curves curve shapes like that you can rub that out later of course but uh, just trying to make it look a bit natural and now for the spot start from the top here making sure that the top part is nice and curved where this is the main structure now of all the branches trying to fight upwards so like that you see that's another, another curve so, sorry if you couldn't see that with the camera. That's another curve there, and then we've I've made to save um fuss and some space. I've uh, made that so it looks like it's snapped off, but just add a small branch anywhere really, so a few twigs and everything. And then here these this is gonna overlap into these branches they look like a tangle but anyway and then let's get into comfortable position and this is working downwards and then outwards so down and out and downwards and outwards like that, that's a curve and then 
into the top pot. And move down, making sure that it's all nice and curved. Add it into the top like this. And then, we're almost finished now, before we start shading in, let's make this into one nice bit of um, structural work. And then you see that they're all like different curves. So that's the top part of the tree, middle part, and the bottom part. And then you can see there are gaps here, so you can say add a branch that comes out here and uh, fills in this part like that. So that's filled in that space and now with the 6B we're going to start shading in uh, the darkest area so just for um, something to work out on we're going to pretend that the sun's facing this direction and then move on to your 6B pencil and we start from the bottom filling in just the darkest areas which don't catch the sun. It's usually underneath, but it gets different when you get to the top. So like that, that's the part, just move up. Top is on. So like that. And then move on the left hand side. This is sort of difficult because it's right in line with the sun, so we'll leave that out. Put it in the and then dark there, dark here, not there, just that sort of in line with the sun as well. That is. So that's the darkest parts almost, just need to do that there. So those are the main dark bits now, and then still with the same pencil with the, not pressing down as much so we'll just shade it in a bit not too far because we're going to start smudging it making sure that it goes from dark to light so after I've done that all over the tree and around the branches like that uh, we'll come back and I'll show you the smudging this is what the tree should look like after you've um, treated half of everything in 6B. And now we're going to go with your finger and just sort of bring it outwards carefully, leaving part at the edge. Sort of a winter tree now. We've almost finished. Just a bit of effect. Just the just a bit of shading around all the branches that you've done. And then put your name at the bottom. There. And then that's how you draw a tree from your imagination and that's the structure of the tree. And hopefully next time in or another art video that I would do is um, doing an observational sketch of a tree and we're going to be looking at this sick, lovely old sycamore here. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.